Hi, I'm Corinna, ready to do another little work of art for you. Monty, our model, is going to help us become a monster. For your basic supplies, you will need small, medium, and large brushes, a high-density foam makeup sponge, a basin to rinse your brushes with water, and a towel, and of course, an FDA-approved cosmetic-grade face paint and glitter. Step one, we are going to take our high-density foam sponge and apply green to the face all over. If the sponge is really watery, then it will uh, be, have streaks in it. So you want to, if you end up having too much water, just take a drier side of the sponge and wipe it down. So for step two, we're going to make this monster angry and we'll make some furrowed eyebrows. So if you squish your face, we copy that look. Working to accentuate the folds of the face squishing. And uh, staying under the eyebrow will make a more dramatic effect, more of an angry face. And then we'll take our sponge and we'll load some white. And you're going to really squish as hard as you can. And you're gonna tap that sponge with the white in those folds. Squish your eyes too. Squint your eyes tight, real tight. If you can look and see after we squish the face, there's already some natural creases. So then we're gonna go back in with our black and our number four brush and accentuate some of those creases. We'll do the same for the outside. And what I like to do is take the underneath of the eye and highlight monster eyes. So we'll continue with uh, making nostrils. So you're going to take the tip of the nose and accentuate a uh, nostril flare. And then I'm gonna take the outside of the nostrils and accentuate that and add the monster lines. So with step three, we're gonna add some shading and some highlights. We're gonna do white around the cheeks. The highlights are Done with the sponge, with the white first, and then we'll go back in with the green. So we're going to uh, continue the shadowing and add some back, uh, back into this, some of the green. So for the shadowing of the forehead, we want to follow the natural bone structure, um, but also highlighting some of the, the dark parts. So if we made the eyebrows dark, we add the white to make it stick out. And then a, a little bit on the frontal bone to make it stick out as well. I'm going back in with some green just to soften it. I'll also go in with some black to darken the hollow parts of the face. Shadowing in to make his cheeks, cheeks stand out just a little bit more. With the number four brush, we'll take our white and just do a little bit of accent around the mouth. Our last step for the basic monster will be to add a mouth. And I like to just do the lower lip. So we're done with our basic monster. And this is Monty with our basic monster. And if you would like some more options to make it detailed and more dramatic, then let's do some more options. So we're gonna add some teeth. For teeth, these kind of details are good to use a number four brush. The length of the tooth is whatever whatever you feel looks looks good. And we take our number two or number four brush with black and outline. So we're going to intensify the crease of the brow. We'll take some white to it, punch it out a little more. So we have one more option which is more detailed and that's actually to paint eyes on the eyelids. Ready? You'll have to keep your eyes closed for a while, okay? Okay. okay.
we're done with the details of our monster face, and we're gonna show Monty.